Hello everybody, welcome to a new legacy video. If you like me love legacy, let me know in the comments. I don't play this format as often, so let's gather all the legacy lovers uh, whenever I do. Uh, what do I play today? It is the, the pet deck of mine, the com this combination. I basically am just forcing it in in every archetype I play legacy in, and it involves uh, reanimate and grief. We know how powerful it's grief. This card has been uh, and is dominating modern in the Reckless Cam deck, uh, but it's also viable in Legacy, and uh, in Legacy you have a much better effect than Fain Death, you have a Reanimate. It's a one mana reanimation card that not only gets back your turn one grief, it gets back, you know, anything, like Orcish Bowmaster, or, you know, if you discard your opponent, Ulamar, for example. But m now, you have this very powerful play, which is Troll of Kazadoom. I was I used to play uh, Sultai with Uro, but basically just like Troll of Kazandum is basically Uro, and uh, you know it's a, just a large threat that you can bring back. It gets you a land drop. I mean, obviously the comparison is uh, not that not that good, but like this is your win condition, and uh, you'll see how many games just end with like a turn two Troll of Kazandum because you go land go, and fun fact the land can be anything, even a wasteland. You you fetch your Swamp end of turn, which can be an Underground Sea, of course, and then you just cast your Reanimate on the Troll. You back it up with, you know, Force, Days, and so on and so forth, and of course Wasteland, and your opponent would just have a very hard time dealing with a 6-5 Triple Menace. Uh, the deck is playing 21 lands if you count Trolls and Lorians, which is a lot for Legacy. Only 5 fetch, which is very little for Legacy. Um, we're playing Soren's Ransom as a card advantage, card advantage engine. Uh, so you can pitch it to both Force and Grief and Force of Negation, which is a big deal. Same thing for Drun and the Lock. Uh, Orcish Bowmaster is uh, uh, the best card in Legacy right now. I mean, you can say that the best cards are like Days, Force, Brainstorm, Wasteland or whatnot, and those are like pillars of the format, whereas it's just the new card that like everyone is playing right now, so it's gonna be very much a, a Orcish Bowmaster race. Uh, most of the fair matchups uh, come down to that. I have been playing this deck for a while now, uh, good result, my last league was a trophy, although I didn't record it, so here I am, recording it now. Thank you Muppet Master for the one, uh, one year sub, welcome. Welcome to the stream, let's go for a legacy video. Palantir of Orthanc is another new card, <clears throat> it comes in in the grindy matchups. It replaces Court of Cannon. All right, let's go Spank Star. Great end. And by that I mean fine end. <laughs> uh, our casting grief is a big deal, and it, it comes up a lot to that. In fact, I feel like... I feel like I want to check a little bit of what my opponent deck is on before going turn one grief, pitch grief. I can go Island Fetch Swamp so that I get my um, Wasteland Proof Mana Base at the ready. Put a Mult 6. If they had Mult to 5, I think I would have Grief Pitch Grief, but as it is, I think I'm fine and just going Land Go. And again, Run in the Lock, not necessarily a uh, Legacy Power Level card, but I've been playing it in these uh, in this Grief. Four social uh, decks. A classic legacy start, Underground Sea Ponder. In the past, this used to be only combo, like Doomsday or uh, Anasium. Now, as you can see in my deck, it's very common. Both uh, uh, Deck Shadow and uh, Deck Shadowless are playing this combination. All right, my opponent does play combo, though, so. You don't play Lotus Petal in a normal deck, so we'll be at the ready with a turn to with a turn to grief. And since they play Petal, I don't even care about uh, Wasteland because you don't play Petal and Wasteland in the same deck. So I just get dual lands, which are obviously much better than getting basics. Nice, see, because of Drown. Okay, so I just go grief, pitch grief. And let's see what they're working with. Probably Doomsday, but it could be something else. Veil of Summer. I'll counter that with my Drowning the Lock. 
could have used Force to have Orc up, but since I'm since I'm griefing them, I suspect the okay they want to they they don't want to show me what they have. Mm, maybe premature, but yeah, we take it. I'm bringing Indress down because if they play Doomsday, this one shuts the uh, Tassad's Oracle off. Remove the counters. Sorry, the removal spells. I don't mind cutting a land or two in those matchups. Go with this. Moon Rod is important to stop um, Lion's Eye Diamond. I expect them to play a Nauseam Tendrils though. Because you don't really play Veil of Summer in Doomsday. It's definitely a combo deck, 100%. Sorry. Okay. Buongiorno, Kuto. Let's go, round number two. As always, when you bring those colorless cards in, it's a little bit clunky with your grief and force. You want to play this in modern? Well, persist is not, not nearly the same as reanimate. Tropical island, go. We're gonna wasteland that immediately. And uh, the correct way of uh, using wasteland in this spot is during their upkeep. Mostly because of the card stifle. But in general, because there is no downside of waiting until their upkeep. It's literally the same. With the exception that if they have Stifle, at least they use money in their turn. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for a, another black card to go grief and reanimate. So this is the combo, you need another black card. So you see, this new right here has hurted me. If this card was like a Sorin's Ransom that I cited out, then I could have gone Grief Peach Soren's Ransom. Which brings the reason why I love the multicolor cards in this deck. The Brainstorm. That's a Bayou, shuffling away the first card, and then there is a Carpet of Flowers. That results for me. Carpet of Flowers, very good. When I was playing the Sultai deck, I used to have a uh, With a Bloom Command. I don't even have a basic Swamp here to fetch. But I cited that out. Citing out a land is very common for this deck. Whenever I don't play around against Wasteland, I cite out a land. Let's see if there's a black card here. There is. Yeah, let's go Grief, Peach, Surgical Extraction. And now my opponent maybe had the uh, Bill of Summer up, and they're going to be topped out for that. They did at the Veil of Summer. Perfect. I'm going to discard uh, Duress.
And then I'm going to discard Veil of Summer. My opponent's going to gain mana anyway, so I don't care about the Dark Ritual. This card, Bale of Summer, is important because I force. Put it on top to 5 mana right now. They don't even play Underground Seed. They don't want me to Wasteland it. Trying the lock, that's good. I just go Polluted Delta go. I don't need to fetch it into the face of a carpet of flowers. When I need it and when I want, I will crack those fetch land. Maybe play the brainstorm shuffle, things like that. But for now I have a clock. I have two counter spells. Again, okay, trying the lock being uh in the slot of a removal spell. Yeah, just the combination Grief Reanimate is extremely powerful against combo. But also the Reanimate Troll package. It's very good. So basically now I just don't want to move. I don't want to give them extra mana with the carpet. I might go Brainstorm, but also like... Then you kind of force him to shuffle, and if I shuffle, I give them one extra mana with carpet. Okay, Lensei Diamond. Okay, now I'm going to go Brainstorm because I want to cast a Null Rod. I'm going to shuffle away two lands here. And draw. That's the power of uh, legacy cantrips. You just play with two, two lands and you shuffle away the rest. I don't want to go troll because troll uh, um, gives them another man again. I set it up swamp. So I'll just go Lunar right now, stopping Lands I Die, Melodus Petal, and so on. Surely I don't have Drowning the Lock up, but I still have Force and Daze. Now my opponent has three mana. Maybe Daze doesn't do anything without maybe. I just have one Force only, but I think the Lunar Rod shots off a lot of mana from my opponent. Plus, like, this deck relies on going Infernal Tutor, Lion's Eye Diamond. So if you shut off the uh, Lion's Eye Diamond, they can't do the thing. Corrupt Decay. Alright, this is uncountable. An old tool uh, for Legacy to deal with stuff. In the past, it used to be used to be used uh, to kill Counterbalance against Miracles. It's kind of how I started to play Legacy. <laughs> Draw another force, perfect. We just have three counters up. I don't move again, I don't want to cycle this troll. Hello, Sunko. Mm, no, I wouldn't change anything. I played one league and, and won it, so <laughs> it was it was it was good. For those of you who missed it, I went 5 0 with uh, Modern Merfolk yesterday. One of the changes I made was to play four Chalice of the Void in the sideboard. Very highly suggested. All right, so basically I'm going to give my opponent mana now. I'm not going to fight over the mana. I'm going to fight over the pay of cards. Now, of course, they might have a card like Mind's Desire now. Mind's Desire as Storm, so it's not easy to uh, fight with counters. Nice. And I, I guess I didn't mention, but the reason why I was holding Troll is because of Grief. That's why I wasn't cycling it.
don't just go grief, betrothal. Basically, grief, as I mentioned in the podcast yesterday, acts like an additional force of will, but a proactive way. Well, you have a clock that you do with reanimate usually, and then you just go grief with two lands only. This game was not particularly fun because we just, you know, freezing their opponent from doing anything in one with like, look at my hand, for example. But this is a testament of blue decks against combo decks. They're good. They've, there's a lot of tools that the blue decks have to fight combo decks. If they mind desired, I would have not played Lance and Diamond and Second Carpet. That's true, but like Mind's Desire is the only way I could have lost this game with, with this hand, you know? So I would say that overall in Legacy, for me, the funniest game are the, um, the Blue Mirror matches. But combo decks are needed in, in order to keep in check the non-blue decks, which are usually tend to be favorite against the blue decks, the, the, the non-blue fair decks. Death and Taxes won the, most, the past challenge, for example. It's a very, overall, it's a very healthy metagame legacy, it's always, it's always been. Hello, Bati. Yeah, I defeated you. Yeah. Yesterday, you were asking me about uh, legacy. I didn't answer because I was playing uh, modern, of course, but I'm glad that you can today find uh, some legacy content. I'll be playing legacy all day. Starting with this deck, which is, uh, I posted about it on Insta and on Twitter, which is the deck I'm playing. And then I'll be switching over to Mississippi River, which is the, 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 the very extreme uh, solitary combo deck that has popped up recently. All right, let's go against Alesha, who smiles at that. Keep. Great end. Then I start with Ponder. Off an island? Actually, no, you know what? I'm gonna go Polluted Delta, go Swamp Island. Keeping Ponder for Force. Not playing Grief yet, and then we'll decide on turn two what to do with it. A silent clearing. This might be death and taxes. Sigarda's aid. Unexpected deck. Uh once again, I don't expect Wasteland is gonna go double underground. See, Wasteland is a super extremely par uh, popular card, but I guess these decks don't play it. I think I'm gonna go Grief Peach Troll. Once again, Troll being a land and also a black card is very valuable. Or is the saga is annoying? I suppose said it was not. I'm gonna take the Colossus Armor. Then I'll pass because if they play as percent, you know, I can just go. Shieldred Edict. And I'm assuming they're gonna go S percent in out there. Although now we need to draw a wasteland for the saga. Zero mana distress spell is a big deal. 
Ooh, let's play Ponder. Let's see if I find a Wasteland. There it is. Alhammer21. Welcome to the stream. It makes sense to also Wasteland the White Source because, like, Sag eventually dies. But I just don't want to, I just don't want them to, like, manage to keep a hammer somewhere. Yeah, some people do play hammer in modern, in legacy. Of course, it's not a very powerful, a very powerful um, deck. But, you know, it's one of the decks that you can encounter in a league. Okay, I think that uh, I'd rather hold the Brainstorm. Uh, playing cantrips is a very, very delicate um very delicate argument in Legacy. You don't simply run your cantrips like that. We know the top of our deck. So there's no reason for us. I mean, there is a reason, of course, but next turn, I'm going to see three new cards and put back two. If I play Brainstorm now, I'm only going to see two new cards and put back two. What if I don't find a way to shuffle? Then I'm going to be Brainstorm locked. So you want to get yourself the most chances in order to not be brainstorm lock. I'll play land here because I might want to be playing a uh, Shieldred Edict uh, and pay for the tax. And of course, if I'd wastelanded the the silver the sign clearing, things would have been better. But point could have just draw a couple of lands in a row, and then you know the saga could have. Got and dummy hammer. Patience is very important when playing with cantrips. Especially if your hand is like remorse by force of will. Um I think I want to respond with a shield red edict. You twig wonder. I appreciate it. But one, did you beat me? Two cards in your hand. Draw. Okay, remember that polluted delta can also fetch for a, a sanctify um, a mystic sanctuary. You beat me? Nice. Congrats, congrats. Hmm. It's actually not a bad play, I think. I think I'm gonna do that. Nah, actually, I changed my mind. Let's just go brainstorm. So I can go grief, uh, sorry, reanimate on grief. And that's definitely a play I'm gonna make. Plow, Stoneforge. Okay, I don't care about Plow, but I do care about Stoneforge. There's also a world where I just draw, don't do anything for a couple of turns. And then Sanctuary Mystic Delorean's revealed on top of my deck. Which is obviously like not an extremely powerful play, but I'm very far ahead here, so I don't mind just guaranteeing the, the, the draw three effect. What do you think about Stifle nowadays? I always hated Stifle. There was not a single moment in Legacy where I liked Stifle. So that I'm definitely the biggest Stifle hater you can find on uh, Magic Content Creation. So yeah, I want to draw that swamp. Yeah, even in the past, the people were playing Stifle in Canadian. I was just like, nah, I'm not doing that. Is 
Is that in taxes viable? Yeah, it won the it won the most recent challenge. Definitely play Yorian. Not playing uh, Yorian in Death and Taxes is a mistake. So basically what I did here is that I did a rush, I did a rush plays because I knew I was sitting on the Mystic Sanctuary Lorenz Reveal combination. It's a powerful combination, especially if you can back it up with force. Ancient then, not legally modern. You're an ether vial. Actually, they combo well. Why, why is that weird? You fetch for... Um... I want to take a screenshot of this. This is a play that I somehow find myself doing a lot. But it's not very powerful if the car force of field doesn't exist. But we're playing Legacy, so the car force of field does exist. The Aether Bile easily goes to five, and even if you don't have land, you can put into play the um, the, the Yorian. I think it's a big deal. I haven't played slow roll this game a lot, <laughs> but like, oh, remember that if you cast Torrens Ransom in the face of a Caracas, it's not gonna be a good play, unless it's like on an Orcish Bow Master. Um, let me cast a Ponder first. Now I'm looking for like Wastelands effects. I honestly just like cannot say no to good cards. It's very hard for me to shuffle. And actually make it quite tiny. Because I'll be uh, casting a new one next turn, which is going to pump both of them. Why would I prefer Blue Black over Sultai? I think a color makes her mana base worse. And the Troll of Kazan Doom is basically Uro. Once you realize that, you will be like, why do I play green? They literally made a common Uro. Like this, down me, is Uro. Titan of Nature's Breath. Banned in modern, legally in legacy. But, you know, this, 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 this is better than Uro. Okay, now, um, I won this game, cool, cool, no rod, push, shield, dread, dismember, dress down, borrower, what do we side out? Uh, I think this might be actually a matchup where we side out griefs. And dazes. Actually, Soren's Ransom is bad. They have Caracas. Bring back Dazes, even if I'm on the draw. I guess I changed my mind. I'll let three Greaves. Unfortunately, the 8 cast and the, you know, artifact decks took a huge hit from um, Initiative. A lot more Chalice of the Boys floating around than before. I was very high on an 8 cast, but, you know, with the um, Mono White Initiative decks. Not being too popular, but still, like, pushing the Chalice of the Boys a little bit more than it used to be. One of the reasons why I love Legacy is that you basically cannot mulligan. Like, every hand with one land is a keep, mostly. Because you play so many ways to get to get you to the second land. And Modern is going that way now with Preordain.
Spirited of Ban, super good for the game, I think. You can see boarding out a uh, Bowmaster. No, when it plays for Sentinel. Well, Brainstorm is. Oh, Layla the Void. Okay. Our reanimate and Mark Tide will be bad. Odyssey Planes. Okay, and obviously the right moment to cast Brainstorm is not in the turn of your opponent, right? You know this already, huh? Mmm. That's annoying. We need to wait for our turn to play Brainstorm to maximize the chances of um, of not getting Brainstorm locked. Okay, so despite Merkler region sucks in the face of a ley line, it's a blue card. I think I want four lands. Maybe it's too many, but I do want to art cast grief eventually. So despite that's a blue card, I still think it's good. Congrats on the double trophy yesterday. Yeah, thank you, Shlidi. Oh, my opponent doesn't have a third land. That's unlucky. That's very unlucky. Yeah, four cards. Not much to do. Yes, yeah, Cam versus Hammer time. It is. I think I'll fetch again. I, I don't plan to cast this brainstorm. My hand's great. Let's just play around Pith and Needle. I got Island instead of uh, Underground Sea because... Because reasons. They are metal crafts at two mana. Sure. I think I'll use this sacrifice a non token creature. It's just the most expensive answer. And then we are cast grief. When my opponent played Leyline and you, I, sh I would have needed to arc cast Grief. That's why I kept the fourth land, because as, as you saw in the first game, you need a beater, and Grief is perfectly that. I'd say my deck did not perform very well these games. Well, if they had a land to make Saga Construct, it would have been it would have been a different game. Yeah, this is actually a really good draw. Oh, never mind. They don't have a. For some reason, I thought it could have kept the Paladin. Of course, they can't. Sorry. Then it's not that good of a draw. I don't move. This is not a game and a format for you to move. How do I feel about Death Shadow? Uh, I, I don't. I never liked Death Shadow too much. Like, it was mandatory in before, but now that you have the Grief Reanimate Troll package, I don't think you should play Shadow anymore. Like, the liability of playing against Source to Plowshares, I think it's too big. I 
think it's time for me to brainstorm. Because I have this dead card in my hand. Uh, I think I'm gonna bounce this uh, petty theft. You have ice petty, no, actually. You have destroyed permanent control of X proof. Alright, let's just cast. Um... I could have reanimated the Faladin. <laughs> I'm basically gonna steal out all these uh, situation in this in these games. Like both games, I could really never lose. Oh, nice! They're drawing a card. I was waiting for this moment. Oh, the broker. Uh, not testing mine's desire. No. Actually, a quite important tournament to prepare. There's the European Legacy Masters in uh, the in September, the second of September at Four Seasons, and I am qualified. Through the uh, leaderboard, uh, the Legacy Player of the Year leaderboard. So I'll be testing for that one. And I'll let other people lose sticks with Mind's Desire. Ooh, this is Oopsal spells. And unfortunately, I don't have a force of fuel and I lost the die roll. Let me just go grief peach snuff out to begin. I think I want to discard the Turn Timber Symbiosis. If I don't reanimate, I would have won the game. I could target my opponent, discard this, and target them. So this is th these are a couple of extra lands, and a normal game of Magic would want you to take lands to play Magic. But this is not a normal game of Magic. My opponent literally doesn't play lands in their deck, so I'm, I'm going to shuffle this. Looking for counter, but like reanimate, land, you know, a lot of good things. Like that top was only good to get two lands, which I didn't really want. If I ram into spy, I mill them, I win the game, yes. They have three spies. I have days as my protection, so I need to make sure they don't get to four mana.
I think I shuffled these again. And pass. No reason for me to play this brainstorm now. Fichnar Kniba. Sylvan Librarian, hello. Thank you so much for the 23rd month. I'm gonna go brainstorm now, looking for a wasteland. In, 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 it's very important in Legacy to know what you're looking for when you play cantrips like this. When to time cantrips. Because you need to know when what you're looking for. Opponent goes dark ritual. And yeah, I'll let it go. Then they play the spy and we're gonna daze it. You play cantrips at the right moment to maximize the chances of drawing what you need. Why? If I play Brainstorm end of turn in that spot, I see the top three cards. This is an important concept that uh, if you have never played Brainstorm, you don't have. Let me explain it to you because it's important. I remember when Brainstorm came to Magic Arena, it was very difficult for people to understand. So you have, you have four cards on top of your deck. Okay? You have four cards on top of your deck. If you play Brainstorm, end of turn, you draw these three cards and you put two back. And then you draw a step, you draw this. You never get to see the fourth one. Instead, if you take your turn and then play Brainstorm, you're going to see four cards and then put two back. So if Wasteland is your fourth card, then you get to draw it that way. So maximizes your chance. If you know what you're looking for, for example, there, I was looking for Force of Will and Wasteland. You have to wait. It's almost never right to go Brainstorm end of turn. When it is, is because you just need to cast spells for Merc Tide or just need general card. But if you're, that's, uh, the, if you are um, looking for something specifically, then it's right to wait and play Brainstorm in your main phase next turn. Alright, let's remove the random removal spells. I think I'm actually cutting new rods. Yeah, new rods, maybe it's too slow on the draw. Unlikely to matter. Yeah, in Popper, you have Thought Scour and Mental Note, so you do that play, but we're pretty legacy right now. Let's I'll uh, keep the zero lander. I'm on the draw against um, Oopso spells. Your hand uh, cannot get too much better than this. Without a land, I mean. Sure, if you have a fetch land, then it's not uh, the case of the...
the clip bottles for spy. I have surgical extraction, so I will let the uh, spy resolve. They target themselves. Now, they have no cards in their deck. If I surgical an Arch Amoeba, do I win the game on the spot? Uh, I'm assuming so. And we win the match. Keep zero lander, win on turn one. Opponent had a turn one win protected, and we won. It's a really an extreme game of magic that uh, you don't really see very often. But, um, uh, yeah. This is, again, mulliganing a hand like this is by far a mistake. It's not even... <laughs> Make you my opponent opening a hand of a turn one combo plus pocket plus ley line. You really can't draw it better than that on the play, and you still lose. And I still had all these too. Like if that two pack, that would have won regardless. It's, it's really important that you don't counter the Balustra spy there. I mean, I guess it, yeah, packs would be the matter. They would have lost. Uh, drag return is uh, legal in Legacy. Yeah, but reanimator is different though. Like against reanimator, sure you keep it regardless, but I can see this end being much weaker against the reanimator. The Upso spell is like very much all in. So like they they really do that a lot. Like this game that just happened, if you've never seen a legacy match, it might sound like a news thing to you, but that deck does that. Turn one protected combo is, is normal. A good old Ancient Duke Chalice will let it resolve. Not only we have zero one drops, I even have Borrower. Yes, a luck deck for sure. Ancient Tomb is basically a power nine. In one card, you have a land and a mox, but it's fair in Legacy because of Wasteland. And uh, yeah. Because of every deck being overpowered, basically. I will wasteland their wasteland. I still haven't drawn a cantrip or a land cycler or a second land. Crystal Bane. This is risky now. Because if I don't draw a... I guess I could have griefed. I guess I could have griefed. Should have definitely griefed. 
But it's okay, it doesn't look like much would have changed. All right, I'm gonna go Grief, and I think I wanna pitch Soren's Ransom. I believe in reanimating the Grief after I bar is and bar where the Chalice. I think I'm playing against the... Ah, oh, I have so many lands. <sighs> I think I'll discard Grim Monolith. Oh, and by the way, podcast episode is out. As always, on YouTube channel, we have uh, the faces now, me, Javier, and Anthony. We focus mostly on modern this episode. But there's definitely been episodes where we focus mostly on legacies. Very much a form of build. both me and Javier love legacy, so... Actually, Javier was one of the first people to put four trolls in their legacy deck. During the Mox playoff, he finished in the top eight. Four trolls. He was playing Shadow then. Really not a card that you used to see anymore for Shadow and Port. Tapping my land. Uh, I think I'm gonna fetch. I don't want to get a basic island. Sanctuary better than nothing. <laughs> No, 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 Troll of Kazan Doom. Kulgar, great troll, does not see play anymore. Fortunately, Dredge just, I don't know, disappeared. Safe on Bandy Modern <laughs> for the second time. Hmm. I guess. I'm not moving. I don't want to bounce anything in upkeep. Okay, it looks like my opponent is about to do something. I'll daze it. Playing uh, very expensive cards like four drops in Legacy is super risky. Daze is a very, very popular card. End of turn, we finally borrowed that chalice that I didn't force in turn one. I was gonna be able to tap my land, and I'll take this chance. Actually, they didn't tap my land. This is a mistake. All right, then let's go, brain sir. That's a it's really bad card. All right, um, what do I do? What do I bought? Amir. 
Uh, I think this is like a perfect pitch for force. I'm not gonna pot bottom it. I think I'll bottom. Um, don't think it matters too much. I think I'll bottom like these two, and then I'll go reanimate on grief. Uh, we wanna discard Chalice, or I'm okay with them having Chalice again. I think I should be discarding Chalice. Nah. I do I care Karn Sign of Urza? I don't. Yeah, I'll discard Chalice. Do I care about Carnivore Creator? I actually probably don't. Like, I think I'm gonna let him resolve anything. This is a classic play of a, you know, expert legacy player to win the game with um, force of will in your hand. You just don't force anything that isn't game-breaking if you're in control. Right now, I'm very much in control. I have a grief, a force, opponent casts one of these two cards. It's fine. They do what they need to do, and then we just attack it. If they plus with sign it, we have a children edict on top of the deck. They top something, I'm gonna go Orkish Bow Masters. Shadow is is uh, a card mostly here to answer Merkthai Regent and Troll of Kazan Doom, but incidentally kills uh, Planeswalkers. You bought these brainstorming paper? Yeah, same. I always had these uh, these brainstorming paper. These are the one I use. A grave monolith. Okay. All the way from Urza's legacy. Go Omer kind of masks in foil. Sure, I'll 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 show them to you, I guess. I don't play much with foils anymore, but uh, always nice to show them. It's like a collector, basically. Actually, my first page of this binder, it's the following one. It's during my, during my foil phase, a collector. Oh, look, I'm going to put this Trinisphere, which is very much a card I need to counter, unlike the rest. The four brains have gone to the moon. They haven't gone anywhere. They've been in that binder. And they will not go anywhere. Because you buy high and you never sell, remember. Actually, I wanted to sell one card. I posted in the group of a Facebook buy sell, but nobody wants to buy it. It's this Mind's Desire foil that I had in my cube, but I cut it some years ago because it's bad. And now they unbanned it, and it's and it's very expensive. <laughs> and I'm like, you know, it's gonna go down for sure. <laughs> Probably not. Mm. 
Okay, now we have Noodle Rod, we have Dress Downs, we have Borrower, Children Edict, Force of Negation, so a lot of cards I'm bringing in, Cut Push, Snuff, Phases, And uh, Merc that Regent. Sorry, actually Swamp. Yeah, always cut Swamp when you play against the deck without... Um... How about flexing my favorite counter spell? Actually, my favorite counter spells are Beta and Alpha, but I don't have with I don't have them with me. I have my uh, old school collection uh, out of safe, so you know can't flex that one. Ooh, leyline. Okay, I don't put these in the safe, but just because they're foil, and I feel like if you put if you put foils out of a binder, they just become like this in one second. For it to always be straightened, whereas, uh, you know, regular card can be out of a binder. This is my theory about foils. You leave a foil out of the out of a binder, bing. If you ever open a foil, just immediately leave it and put it in a... and put it in a... Um, in a binder. Don't like leave it on the table and the next day complain that it's curled. Like it is happening. The world exists this way. Like older cards, well, non foil. I mean, allora, they have Rashad and Port. I'm just. Yeah, you want to tap it, you tap it. New foils? Mm, I don't know, not really. Don't know much about new foils. Okay, my opponent has this Rishana port. I think I want to just bounce the Leyland of the Void here. Or should probably just Wasteland though. Although the Wasteland, I kind of want to keep it for Urza Saga. I want to keep green for the reanimate. Yeah, they have a Saga. You must keep Wasteland for Urza Saga. It's very important that you do that. I think we have a perfect turn lined up here. We're gonna go end of turn borrower and ley line. We're gonna tap my land. I'll go grief, wasteland, reanimate. Ooh, they're casting something. Card trading card game results. to get two cards i'm gonna discard two cards they're great for animate lined up once again with the tr oh they plus no about bad the dream we have shoulder edict for that allora first let me bounce the 
I guess I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bounce the the thing. I'm just gonna go shield to the edict, wasteland, and pass. Although if I bounce ley line, because uh, I must wasteland the saga. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go shield to the edict here. Each opponent sacrifices a planeswalker. Opponent is gonna regret not minus two with the card. I don't need to bounce ley line. No. I'll wasteland in your keep. Maybe you tap my land uh, with port, and I think it's a good, it's a good play. Go ahead. You don't want to bounce ley line, play grief, and reanimate. Uh, there's Karn. I need to kill Karn. Uh, no. I must have uh, played the uh, Wasteland. I don't want to leave them with their saga. You want to Wasteland Saga Chapter 2. But then they make this large construct. I mean, why? I don't know. Maybe I risked it, but I don't think I did. I can't uh, cycle the troll because I need to keep, uh, pitch it to grief. I guess they only have one card in end. Might as well random a troll. <laughs> one card in end, and it's the ley line. All right, they drew something. What is that? What is that? Four. Oh, <laughs> true. <laughs> uh, the one card. I think I'd rather waste. Uh, let me think. I guess I can play grief. Although I really don't expect their last card to be very much. I should. I probably should not play grief. Probably should just wasteland. I really don't know what can they have that is uh, back breaking for me. Oh, Elm of Obedience. Yeah, let's not die to Elm of Obedience. I guess I borrow her anyway. I really just don't die to anything. I definitely don't play Grief because then I die to Elm of Obedience. But like, what what card do I want to wait? I guess I'll wasteland the tomb, but it really doesn't matter. Obedience plus Leyline is a combination. Yeah, they can't tap Doom, I know, but what if they draw an answer to this, then they can't tap it? What if you draw Plow? You never know.
Boss Mox? No, I want to have lethal. Four zero, easy. Wow, look at that. Can we get the back to back to back to back to trophy? I am in at three trophies in a row, Magic Online. Can we get to the fourth one? Take a bathroom break, come back for the final match. You also probably sell the foil M11 preordain that I bought when they were 40 euro each. This might this might be the right moment. Probably not. No, no vintage cubes, I'm sorry. Whenever I, I upload those to YouTube, they get uh, like one tenth of the views that Constructed gets. I built my viewership around Constructed, I guess. Hello, anyone wants to play against Blue Black Scam or you're all afraid because it's the best deck in Legacy? Probably the second. Hello, let's play Contem Sleeping Resident Sleeper. All right, let's do some some solitary of um, Mississippi River in the meanwhile. Let's do some solitary. Keep. The blue mana, I think I do. There it is. I've already have double blue, perfect. Two blue, two red, two portalless, Sakashima's Protege, Cascade, Creative Technique. Demonstrate, yes, okay, Emrakul, trigger, demonstrate, Apex Devastator, triggers, Aurora Phoenix, trigger, creative technique, trigger, sorry. Oh, I've been paired. I've been paired for a match. Let's go. 
I win. Thank you. All right. I'll play that deck later, by the way. Uh, uh, um. Let's go. Wow. We're facing Yorian, the Sky Nomade. My hand is great, though. I have the grief. But I have it on turn two. Planes. Ether Vial. Grief. Pitch. Fatal push. I wanna keep troll as a land. This card. Solitude. Okay. This card. Plow. They have Wasteland. I really wish I had Force for the Vial. I think I'm gonna lose. They have two recruiter in hand. You can't really beat that. Even if I draw exactly the another reanimate, that's like the only way. A way that they can go recruiter orc, so it's important that we act immediately. There are fourteen. Vod goes to three. That was a good draw, huh? That was a very good draw. I want to draw Ponder. Or Jonatonga. Should have maybe... Mm. There it is, that's the reanimate. Okay. How do I do this? I like Wasteland too. I like Soren's Rants. I mean, I like all these cards. That's good. Uh, next turn, is gonna tap my land there. Mm. So I think I'll draw Reanimate and maybe I'm happy to just draw Wasteland. No, I need to draw Soren's Ransom before because they tap my land. I guess I can Wasteland, but. Yeah, I think I'll do this. You got it, 11. They have recruiters. This is this is really bad because then they have Yorian too.
uh, they don't play this first spell. Okay, I got a Solitude. Looks like they're gonna bring Viola 4. I didn't tap C because I had Ponder on top. I knew I had Ponder on top. Who has Orc Solid Shit? Let's see what they do. Looks like they main phase Orc. They're gonna be able to go Solid Shit next turn. And then I can go Yorian on Sarge, man. This is a terrible situation to be in. I need to attack. I need to make them so that they have less bodies for Yorian. Well, you look how big is Yorian in this match. Like, this is broken. If the opponent had 60 cards and no Yorian, I could have won this game. But I know that I'm not going to be able to because of Yorian. I'll look. I have Soren's Ransom on top of my deck. I know my opponent has Solitude in end. Yes, Arain. Very much. I wish I had Soren's Ransom in end instead of Reanimate now. I think I'll play Merc there, Regent. I gain seven life, six life, I guess. Yeah, I can see playing Ramit. This was a little bit more mind efficient. Like next turn. I'm gonna lead off with um I'm gonna lead off with Sauron's Ransom and then I can go land reanimate. Rainstorm is really bad because they have orcs. I'm just gonna go to to choose pilot two. Then I'll offer to trade again. I put it might not take it because they gain three, but I don't mind this. The Merfolk video will be uploaded tomorrow. Yeah. All well, my videos go up on 6 p.m. European Center. And uh, that will be tomorrow at that time.
I'll put it as your and Ananda. I'll go reanimate on grief. Go down to six. Quinn is gonna go you are in blink their board, then it can go end of turn. I mean I guess I go ponder and then end of turn or Kishbow Master on the orc. I need to find an answer to you are in which is very light, only um I only have um What's it called? Um, snuff out. That kills the Yorian. I guess Merc died. I think I'm just dead on board, honestly. I'm clicking the buttons, but I don't see an out. GG. Yeah. I had a great draw, but my opponent uh, overpowered me. Do I want to, to bring in Nulrog? Probably not. I sleep. Resident sleeper. And three minutes for sideboarding is so much. So much. One or road. Maybe. Maybe no rod is reasonable. Okay. Let's go. Mulligan. Keep. Oh, I'll put it killed my vibe with the slow play. The vibe has been killed. Hmm, all right. Game two. Land go. Planes, Ether Bile. Okay. Cycle. Let go. I 
Marsh Flats. Okay, more vials. Reasonable. Let's go. You don't have modern brooms, unfortunately. They probably set it out. I don't know if they can. Second main. You're in two hand. Okay. Let's cast my Soren's Ransom. End of turn, Factor Fiction. Hmm. Alantir, oh no, this card is so good. I'll play Grief. Oh, fear my god, but that's funny. I think I'll take the extraction specialist here because I really plan to kill this orc. He will suffer a Yoria later in the game. I think this one with Orc is really good. Ooh, another one. And another one. Hmm. I kind of want to just go Orc plus Bounce the Vial now. Yeah, I don't think my opponent can do very many things, so... I'll do that. Oh, they can, they can violin the, the Fairy Macau, that's funny. Ooh, they don't. They keep it in end. Fourth mana. I go orc, ping orc. Do I want to block or do I want to just go another orc and then eat and pink face? Yeah, that might be better actually. I don't need to bounce vial. I just this card next turn you are in. They could cast Fear Macabre, remember that. 
I'm simply attacking with, sorry, yeah, with Violet. I simply attack with Orc Army, and then I'll go Grief. He also drew solitude now. Ninja. I think I'll take the warrior regardless here. This is too big. This is too good, this card. Like solitude is also good, don't get me wrong. I take solitude here. Thank you, thank you, Ninja. For the eighth month, that's a long time. If I take solitude here, my opponent can violate the Orion pretty empty. Like, let's say they go land battle school, and then Yorian is a problem, because I can't get rid of the token as easily. Yeah, I think I need to discard Yorian. It will be Yorian plus Caracas. We have Wasteland for Caracas. I couldn't use Wasteland because I need to tap for grief. I really regret having this in the graveyard now. Yeah, I think I should have bounced the fi the ether file earlier. Anyway, that's okay. Now we can bounce the bioskill token. Actually, no, that's fine. It's fine. No, no regrets. No regrets. Playing well. Obviously, the game is very open. I could easily see myself losing this game, but no regrets for now. No fear of days. <laughs> Makes sense. That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. Is it though, actually? Attack with grief. They double block. Attack with grief. They violin solitude. I go dress down. They double block. I bounce the germ. Yeah, makes sense. I guess they don't need to double block, actually. Mm. They simply block with Barter School and then I'm screwed. No, I guess I can just ping it. Let it move it on the other one. Mm. It's good rest now, regardless. They might just not put Sochi into play now, though. Mm, nah, yeah, maybe it was a mistake. Now oh, I bounce that. They can just main phase via the kip. It was a very bad play. I throw this. Did I throw it? I guess I can bounce about a school. This is all menace. I was a mistake. It was a large mistake. Mm. I, I didn't think about the fact that my grief lost menace. If I bounce the germ, they can violent solitude and keep it. And then it's and then it's very large. You wanna bow master the German step. But that play is still bad, right? They just do the same solitude they keep. I think it's fine. I'll bounce. They can also violent fairy macabre. Yeah, but killing the germ is bad, right? I like many I have like a reasonable amount of outs to Okay, looks like they want to equip the Fairy Macabre instead. Yeah, like, what do I bounce? They have a solitude equip with a Barter School. <laughs> what do I bounce? Bouncing Eater is a terrible play, I think. Oh, 
What did I draw? Leg engineer. The bot is cool. Yeah, but then to recast to get a juror. I don't know. Should probably just wasteland this Caracas. I had a million choices this game and I'm losing. It means I made a mistake along the way. Come on, opponent. Click OK. Okay. Now I need to find like Fatal Push for the. I mean, the Bastards is going to be a, a big problem now. My opponent is going to be able to draw the fifth land even after a wasteland. It's like, this is a tough matchup. As I said at the beginning, uh, blue decks beat combo decks, like blue fair deck beat combo decks, and non blue fair decks beat blue fair decks, and combo decks beat. So like it's really a triangle legacy, and it's always been. I can shuffle away two cards. They can't just be two orcs. Yeah. Ram is gonna get what troll? That's not great. I should try to exile that uh, solid ship maybe. That wise, they're not gonna they're not gonna put that into play. Okay, let's do this now. Let's both these two. And then on attack with grief. Yeah, last turn was a disaster. Last turn I throw it away. Let an awful dress down. For some reason I thought my opponent had to put the social on the stack and then I could dress down. But either bio doesn't work that way. My opponent just chose not to put the social into play and yeah. And my dress down just, just did straight up nothing. Actually it was a downside. Uh do, do, do. Well, certainly need to wasteland. Do I want to do something else? I guess what I can do here is... Well, I don't need to Wasteland, actually. I certainly need to do, uh, shuffle my two orcs on top. Uh, do I want to go Brainstorm again? I guess I want to reanimate something. Or like what? Troll? Maybe. Yeah. Let me just go brainstorm again first. Want to see what's up one more turn. Reanimate. Maybe the Yorian is alright. Extraction Specialist doesn't do anything. Maybe the Yorian is alright. Yeah. I think it's better than the Troll. And of course, they need to waste on the Caracas. Yeah, exactly. Not the worst to blink the grief. My opponent is going to be forced into casting this, which they would cast regardless, but at least I can block this. Alright, go. Oh, 
point of zero cards, but I mean, my Merc Pack can stop this, I guess. It's not gonna stop this with Death Touch, though. Jamie, thank you, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the stream for the 10th month. All right. Um... This is fine, right? What do you think happens if I go Grief block Plug Engineer and Orc 2-2 two, two block that? Is the gr Plug Engineer dying before I deal 2 damage? No, right? Hmm. Alright, so I was gonna tap a land, so I can't unfortunately do Merc that plus reanimate. But I can go Bowmaster on Thalia. And then Merc died. Yeah, I think it's a good play. Put in taps a land of mine. And I'll use it to Bowmaster the Thalia. <laughs> And then I'll play a large Merc type to stop the board. Let's make it as big as I can. Not though, because I want to keep the Soren's Ransom in the graveyard for Mystic Century. So this is going to be a 7 7, which I think is enough. No, actually, we need it to be an 8 8. I need to be an 8 8. Sorry, Soren's Ransom. 8 8 stops Bottle School, uh, Soldier with Bottle School. I think this Merc that stalled, of course, like they have a million outs to kill this. Bold attack. What's going on? What do they have? It can, Joe. My pants are big. It can, Joe. La Ganja. Attack with both. Reanimate. I mean, I could have had turn three Palantir now if I chose the Hidden Pile with Soren's Ransom. Definitely the regret of this game. Okay, they drew a card and they don't play it, so they drew something that is a 5 or a 3. It's not great news. Okay, they pass. Upkeep, you tap my land. You don't tap my land. Okay. 
I just have to have it all. No fear. Okay, something is happening, big in combat. You top my land in big in combat. Hmm. I think I just stuck with this then. Yeah, I was thinking about Raymond on Extraction Specialist, but I don't know. Unfortunately, I had to delve away all my spells, so it is, I can't get Mystic Sanctuary to play this Grief. I just get Island. Now we'll see what they have in end. Again, it's a 5 or a 3 for sure. It's a Containment Priest. Ooh, that stops their vials. Hmm. It's okay. It stops also my uh, Reanimate. They grew a land. So they can't, they can't keep the, the bot as cool. Nice. I guess that Merc that is not that good. It's already that big. I think I'm gonna do the unusual ponder into brainstorm just to grow the uh spell size. Ooh, drown in the lock. Okay. This is a good game. Definitely a nice game for the trophy. I wish I had reanimating end now. Although I don't know what I would have reanimated. To be honest. And reanimating is not even on top of my deck. There is Shield's Red Edict. How many spells I have now? One, two, three. So this is a six, six. Still not big enough. One and again, remember, zero cards. Huh? Let's look at the timer too, because this is game two. And it looks like I might win, but it will take a long time. So there is a world where I win this game and I win on time game three. I have the borrower too. Yeah, but remember, the borrower doesn't block. One it seems unbothered about the time and it's just wasting time in this phase. It's important to make these attacks. Edict on my turn? Nah. Uh, let me let them wait to top five mana to keep the bot as cool. Non token. Just asking, yeah. Alright, I think they drew a land. I think they drew a land. It's time for us to turn the corner. I'm gonna go Merc that Borrower now. 
Merktide is going to be as big as I can. Once again, no possibility for me to go... No possibility for me to go... Um, Sanctuary Mystic if I draw Fetch Land. Reanimate their Priest? Nah, whatever. Keep Reanimate to get maybe Solitude, although I guess I need life total to get Orc. Flag Engineer. Giver of Runes. Alright. My opponent can now equip that too because they have 6 mana exactly. That's going to be big. Also, that one gives protection, remember. I need to gain some life. Ponder is an amazing draw. That's the power of the blue decks in top deck mode. Okay, these three cards, though, are not powerful. Why don't we have the priest? It's not a good play. It's weak. They have mana. Six mana. Don't do much better than that. Don't settle for bad plays. Look for best plays. I shuffle these. After six. Allora, six, tu vedi c'ha nove. E poi c'ho tredici. Yeah, this is good. I guess I could reanimate the extraction specialist and jump attack to gain life, but then I don't have reanimate anymore. So it doesn't make much sense. Oh, Wasteland. Okay. Let's look at the timer very much. This is game two, remember. Mana value two or less. Ooh. The Ponder Shuffle was exactly the two cards I had on top of my deck. I wonder if the next one is going to be Wasteland. 3-6, by a 13, and then there are 13 exactly. That's good. We got, we got exactly lethal now. 6 now, you go to 13, and then I have 13. But you have to Chump Attack. I could go block with Orc, kill my own Orc, but it doesn't seem like a great play. Maybe it was if I had 2 turn Clock last turn, but I didn't think about it then. <laughs> Let's see if they break now, we win. They bricked. GG. They play Lamp Break on, but they shouldn't have. They gave me the chance of just having lethal now, right? Let me recount. 6 più 7, 13. 6 più 7, 13. Yeah. So I can block. And the Orcish Bowmaster, my own Orcish Bowmaster, to the Night Life Link. And then I have exactly 13. Yes. Woo! Okay. Next draw, Polluted Delta. So not quite the shuffle bug. Okay, now we have game three. We have few fewer minutes. Um... I'll go to the bathroom so that I am cleanly for the next game. Okay. I think I'll cut Palantir. It takes too many clicks. And that's it. Of course, in a normal game, Palantir is very good against it. Death and taxes, but this is a not normal game. Four minutes against five. No no rod. Yeah, no no rod. I got two forces, and they were both in my...
Okay, I like the reanimated air. Oust, oust, flicker wisp. I'm actually F6ing. Unlikely that I'll need uh, to play a force of will. I'll pass the turn. When he wants to do the port play when they have three minutes, you're welcome. I think I'm going to go for the Orcish Bowmaster just to pressure them in to do something. I left six even if I force of will. Much sure, rush. Okay. I can tap both of my lands. I don't I don't float mana. I don't play Brainstorm. I don't attack. They have bio on three. Can easily have a creature. That's very good. That can get them um, Orkish Bowmaster. Stoneforge Mystic though, they they that card that card is gonna give them speed now. That card is gonna give them speed now. Should I play Dress Down? They buy in a response and then a Grief. Yeah, I think I'll play Dress Down. Actually, Grief doesn't work. Should I force my own dress down to then grief? I think then I don't beat Yorian though. I'm losing this game. Lend. Prison bar though, not bad. Actually, do I want to play grief just as a 4 3? Just as a 3 2. I don't think so. When it's 1 minute 50, they have Kadra complete. This is fast. This is going to tap me fast. Hope they never draw a wasteland. You draw a third reshot on port. Much worse than a wasteland. You return Yorian, and you have Bile on five, eh? Oh, you put it into play immediately, okay.
They get Lion Sash. They have Oust, Oust, Lion Sash. And a fourth card. They have Plague Engineer in their hand. And they put it into play. Naming Orc. They have 30 seconds. Look. We have to go reanimate on Flicker Wrist, Blink the Germ. Fatal Push on. Uh, I guess I can go Dismember now on Yorian. I definitely go for the reanimate on Flicker Wisp. Blink the germ. And then I go. They did an F6. They're wasting so much time. Oh, no, why are you wasting so much time? I think we got this. I think we got a trophy. Oh, and then I got this member on Yorion now. Oh, they can see it. <laughs> the win on time. Magical line special. GG. Hold on, Randy. Fifteen-o. <laughs> Good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, chat. Now it's time for a river. Yes, indeed. All right, all right. What did we face? What did we face? What did we face? We faced... Man, I have no memories. Wait a second. Allora. Let's do the paint, uh, the paint art. The paint art stream. A mango special stream. Right. Last one was death and taxes. E this one was uh I don't remember anything. It's oh it's all blurry. Iron Claw, what were you playing? Oh yeah, you were playing uh, bow artifacts. I like colder deck. Artifacts. I, 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 artifacts. I don't know. That was they had artifacts. What can I say? This one was Upso spells. This is the game with one on zero lands. Oh no, yeah, round three was Upso spells. Yeah, the game two was cool. Well round two was round two was hammer time. That's true. And round one was uh what was it? Doomsday, yeah. Alright. Thank you for watching. If you liked Legacy and like this video, make sure to let me know in the comments. And uh, thank you for watching.